The Arandora Star was a passenger ship requisitioned as troop ship during the Second World War. In 1940, she was assigned to transport German prisoners and Italian internees to Canada. On 27th of June, 1940, she embarked more than 1,500 people. The ship was bound for a Canadian internment camp, but it never got there. On 2nd of July, just off the Irish coast, at around 4 o'clock in the morning, she was torpedoed by a German U-boat. Despite every effort, she sank at 7.20 a.m. 850 people were killed, many of them Italians living in London, civilians who were taken overnight from their homes and families with no explanation, no apparent reason. After 75 years, the sons and grandsons of the perished and of the few survivors are still waiting to know what happened that day. My name is Vittorio Minozzi and my father was Giovacchino and uh, he had been in the UK for well over 20 years. He came here when he was 17 years of age and uh, he was 44 years of age when he was lost on the Arundora Star. Uh, on the early hours of uh, 1940, just after Italy had declared war, uh, my father was uh, arrested and taken to a local police station somewhere in London and we think for about a week before he was transferred to a place called Worth Mills, which is in Lancashire. With the sinking of the Arundora Star, uh, my father perished. Why my father was taken? Because he was here for so many years, well over 20 years, and was just a normal member of the Italian community at the time. I've been trying to find out why my, why my father had uh, been taken and that he only, the only feeling we have that why he was taken was because he was a member of the Mazzini Garibaldi Club at the time. Hello, my name is Ruth Grace. I'm 24 years old. And my great-great-grandfather was Efficio Rosario. And he was interned in the Second World War and died on the Arandora Star. He started off, um, as many Italians did, in the catering trade um, in London. Um, but then he found a business, um, a pet shop in Tooting. Proud of my Italian ancestry, but essentially the Italian in our family died um, when he died. He had absolutely. I think it, the whole policy of internment and particularly of the Arandora Star raises a lot of questions that are very relevant to us today. Um, questions of xenophobia, uh, questions of how we treat foreign nationals questions of immigration and questions of human rights. Uh, hi, I'm Dominic Peeney and um, I just want to uh, explain uh, about my father who was Serafino Peeney and he was one of the survivors of the Arandora Star. Uh, Serafino Peeney was arrested in, um, in just before, I think in June to, uh, 1940. He was a restaurant owner and he was also a member of the London Fashion, which was therefore on the list as a potentially dangerous person um, for the British government after Italy declared war. Um, and he was considered to be one of the dangerous uh, characters which Churchill wanted to deport. So from Berry, he was selected to go on to the Arandora Star and he was on the top deck of the Andorra Star and therefore had more likelihood of surviving than the people who were in the lower decks. When in uh, the 2nd of July uh, 1940 the U-boat um, torpedoed the Andorra Star uh, he was, it was 7 o'clock in the morning, just before 7, he was able to come off the Andorra Star by way of a rope and was able to get into one of the lifeboats um, and was then sent to Southampton uh, and put on the Dunera. Actually probably the Dunera which was a journey from Southampton to uh, Australia was probably harsh, harsher than the Arandora Star. They were kept for 55 days 
uh, without access to fresh air, save for one hour during the day, and they were treated very poorly. In the Dunera uh, journey to Australia, um, the British soldiers were um, pillaging, taking away all the personal property of um, the Italians, including wedding rings and everything. And he managed to save his wedding ring by tying it um, with a piece of string to his genitalia. So he was able to survive, uh, his wedding ring was able to survive uh, the thieving that was going on on the genera. The experience of my father made him very more Italian in his sentiment and he harboured right up until his death an identity with Italy more than with his uh, life in the United Kingdom. Hello, my name is Peter Capella. Um, my mum was on the Arendborough Star. His name was Diamante Costa. Um, he perished on the, on the ship. Um, we have no reason to think why he was on the ship. There's, he wasn't a fascist. He was a very kind, gentle man. Um, when they sailed from um, Liverpool, they were deemed to be um, faster than new boats, but evidently not when they had um, army and uh, allies on the prime torpedo target. It was, it was set out to be. There's so many rumours that we don't know. Um, we heard that uh, the British wouldn't show the, the, the international sign of the Red Cross on the ships because they didn't relate to them anyway. Whenever they saw a German plane flying a, a Red Cross, um, they would shoot it down because it's a, it was simply a means, which is understandable, um, a means of, 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 of doing um, surveillance work on, 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 on British land. So you can understand that the reason why then. Um, but the boat should have been painted white, as it was before, uh, with a big red cross, and lit up like a Christmas tree. Um, that's about all I can say, really. Thank you.